Hello everybody, my name is Senet and welcome back to Vine Journey 2. Last off where we left off, we made Coke bricks and I think we made the other type of brick that I forgot what it was called, but our fruitions have been granted as I have both of these here now, which is the Coke oven and then the crude blast furnace. Coke oven is to make Coke blocks of coal into Coke bricks, which I don't have on me at the moment. And it also gives me Kerosote oil. So this is right here, right there. And then over here is where we make our blocks of steel with the iron blocks and then the, the ball, the block of cold coke. This here is called the Torturino. It's a mod that I installed a while ago so I can speed up these processes so that I don't take too long. And with that, we had made also made treated wood, which I should have in my chest over here. Here we go. Oh, wait, do I not have treated wood on me? Where did it go? Oh, it's in here. So I have some treated wood in here from the quest that I did, though the quest that I did do, they also gave me this chair one, which I could turn a stair into a chair if I wanted to. And then I got a diamond saw out of this, but I don't know what I'm going to use that for. So we're going to have to wait and see. And we also did our pedals. We did our pyre over here. We made it. Uh, we did the things to get the charred stone that's in my inventory already to get our mortar and pestle, as you can see right here. And we made some pedals. I think that's pretty much as far as I've went so far, except making this immersive engin engineer's workbench. So we have this here as well. And let's see what we have to do in our quest book. So we have to make some blueprints. Okay. We have to make a uh, copper wire and uh, even more blast. I think this, what is this? Oh, it doesn't tell me what this is. An improved blast furnace. Okay. We'll do that in a moment. We don't need that at the moment. We have some other stuff to do here. And then our chapter three quest here, we can make our Dugonia if we want to. We have these statues here, a wand, and I forget what this is, an imbuer. So we have a lot of stuff to do. It's going to take me a while to do. So I think I want to start with our chapter three so we can just go into chapter four in a bit. Since we only need the flint and steel from chapter three to get, um, get our stuff ready for the pyre and stuff. So we can start with this Dugonia. So it's going to take us some lily pads, the terra moss, wool, black of lapis lazuli, and some petals. We should have most of that except lily pads, uh, because I don't really come across lily pads that often. You can't really make them, and I just have to like run around and find them if I really need them. But I think we should have some. I don't know how many though. Let's see, we have five right here, so we'll take that. We need a sugar block, that's not a block of wool, that's a sugar block, terra moss, block of lapis lazuli, and then we should be fine. We're going to put everything else in here. We're going to grab our mossy blocks right here. And then we're going to need our knife. Where, where is it at? Here it is. So we need to put this all down. Unfortunately, uh, we could just go like this. We, uh, you know, I should bring out my wand as well. Do I still have one? Okay, perfect. This will just be easier to do like this. We go like that and like that. And then over here and then over here. So I could just cut it all off like so. Speaking of which, we can make our iron for an iron wand as well. Now that we have a uh, steel, if our iron wand, yeah. So we have steel now. So we just need a stone wand, and then that, and then from there, how do I make the? Uh, I don't want a builder's wand. What's the diamond wand? How do I make that? Our diamond wand requires a hyper diamond and then a builder's wand. So we are not close to that at all. Let's just forget that thought ever existed in my head. Okay, we can still jump a little bit. So then I think I can't jump anymore. So then I just gotta cut this out. It should be enough for what we need. I don't know if I can put luck on this to give me more moss, but okay, that's done. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I also went ahead and added Tinker's Lovely. So now we have levels on our things because I didn't know why I didn't have that to begin with. But yeah, I have these. This is heroic now. So I have like a few more modifiers I could put on it if I wanted to. So I have Emerald, Diamond, Elect 3, Hastis, and Reinforce. So we don't have to worry too much about going into the caves anymore. Then we have the Illumite Broadsword. I haven't changed this because it's the original one I made. And then I just have the Illumite Shovel, which is a master level. doesn't have luck on it because I didn't want it. I just want it to be as fast as possible. So I could just dig through stuff instead of using uh, uh, excavation as much because that takes a lot of my food resources from me. So now that we have everything, we need sugar blocks, a block of lapis lazuli, which we should have a lot of lapis lazuli now. Let's go over here. So we have 226. What I mean by a lot, I mean a little. Because apparently I don't have anything. I should have some in my ear. We have 39. Okay, we are struggling with this. I think 14 blocks should do. And then I just need sugar cane. Where is sugar cane at? Uh, sugar, sugar, sugar cane, sugar cane. Do I not have any on me? Um, not, I'm looking, but I can't see anything. Oh, here it is. I think that should be enough for what we need. We just need to make a sugar and then make a sugar block out of that. So let's grab our sugar. Bam, bam. That should be 14. The same. Okay. And I think we're ready to go. 
Let's grab everything we need here. We're going to come over here. One, two, three, four. And then I think I need the lily pads, which are right here. So I can only make five of these, but we only need to make three. So that makes three Dugonias. Where is my flint and steel at? Here we go. So we'll cook that. It's going to take nine seconds to make. Or alternatively, we can use the compressor Torino so that I can show you how to use this. So we just put it down. Right click it a few times to change the, change the area of it and then shift right click to change the speed. And then from whatever we do here, we can go like this, like that, and it, it's done in an instant. Or should be done in an instant. I don't know why it's not working. Hello? Can you work for me, please? Thank you. Okay, so we can make a few more. Just to get it out of the way. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. It was being dumb. So that's as much as I can make. So we we'll just grab all of that. And now we have 15 of these. Perfect. That quest is done. Grab our torch back. And we're going to get puffer fish because I don't know where I'm going to get puffer fish at at all. So now we can do heavenly flower. Craft one cloud berry, then plant it into any elemental story to grow more. So obtain blue orchids for this item. Look around in the swamp like biomes. So blue orchid. Interesting. Okay, so cloud berries. So we're going to put on our dugonia so we can grow them. We also have sure footed stone. Not with this stone nearby, place it near your crop field. And then not only will it provide water to nearby crops, it'll also prevent anyone from trampling them. Interesting. But the issue is we already have worms. So that's the issue we have right now. So we have worms already. So this is just growing without any water being present at all because of the worms fertilizing the ground. And since they don't die, I don't really have to do that. But we'll do it for the quest anyways. This kind of dirt block that I put around at the end of the video uh, while I was off screen kind of bad so I guess changing that to be that type of stone would be better because this is kind of bad I also want to move pretty soon so maybe next episode you'll see me have different things around I don't know how I'm going to move all these buffalo that's going to be an issue but I think I want to remove myself from the sandy biome here because it looks bad and I keep destroying it somewhere else maybe we'll find like a um uh, i don't want to be in a magical forest because there's too many like pumpkin spiders here it's annoying as hell but that's for later we'll find something like a hill or something to live on or live inside but for now let's just forget all about that and let's go back down and actually what do we have to do here we need to plant our degonias so degonia come here degonias we're gonna come over here and i think we could just plant them right here or do they have to be in the thing itself uh we have some crops we could put them over there we just need more worms for that i don't know if i have any worms let me see here do, 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 do. we have seven worms okay quick we just need our hoe which we should have right here not the comma the hoe itself uh do did i break my hoe oh no it's right here i grabbed everything that's not what i wanted ah jesus oh uh, we could put the wand up here as well all right there we go perfect Oh, we also have a crafting table on a stick, so we don't have to go so far to get stuff. We don't need to have it in our inventory or go down there. So let's see here. How do I plant this? How do I plant this? What the hell is a Storm cloud? Aqua bubble? Can I not plant these? Oh, I need crop sticks. What is this? Elemental soil. How do I make this? Fay crafting. Compressed dirt block. Bone block, terra moss. Okay. This should be easy to make since I have all these materials already. So this area will be our, our elemental soil. Oh god. Oh no. That looks bad at the uh, bottom. No, I hit that by accident. Okay, we didn't hit we didn't hit our uh, worm, so that's pretty good. So we just need to clear this out. Like so. How far does this go? Okay, so one. I wanna break that type of block. Okay, there we go. And then I have to put down the hemp again, unfortunately. This is, looks so weird. Just looking at it at the bottom. I don't like how this looks. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Let's go down. Let's make ourselves some elemental soil. I think that's one of the quests I have to do, right? No, that's all the way down here, apparently. Storm, earth, and fire. Why is that so down? How do you, how do you plan for me to get down there to begin with? I can't even make this. Yet another crafting altar. Where's that at? Oh. Grove station. Okay, so what is this? Uh, gated. Multiple spells. There are five spells for one reason or another are gated to significantly later into progress. You only have to craft one of these spell dust to complete the quest. Okay. The extension spell provides night vision. It can be modified. Okay, so. Well, I'll just take the life drain because that'll just be easier. 
Oh, we could take the shatter one as well. Oh, wow. Okay, we could take shatter. Extension. We have acid cloud, shatter. How do we make shatter? We can't make shatter. That was a straight lie. Spell dust. How do you expect me to get this? I might have MSS ore already. Golden carrot, compass. Uh, I surely have this. Mind grabbing. Uh, mob grindium. I don't have this. I can't make this. So which one can I make? I can't make any of these. Jesus Christ. Okay, so yeah, these is gated. So I can't do any of these. Not right now, I don't think so. What is a potion of poison resistance? Nope, can't make that. Can't, this is like the easiest one to make, but I still can't do that either. So this is gated for right now. Can't do that. Oh, utility. Rampant growth. Create a rampant growth spell dust. When infused into a staff, you can quickly regrow all crops nearby. It works best if you with a harvest spell so you can immediately harvest and regrow your whole crop field. Spirit herb, orange autumn, bone meal, block of amethyst, golden hoe. How do you make spirit herb? You just grab it from the ground, I guess. Plant drop. Runic shearing. Oh, so beetroot turns into that. Oh, I see. It's a runestone. We don't have a runestone yet. Oh my goodness. Do I have any of it though? Like, if I have, has it ever dropped? Terra spores. Can I grow this? No, I don't like mycelium with that. Block interaction. Okay, that's mossy gray. Oh, okay, so this can make more moss if I need that. What else do we have here that we can try to use? Nothing. Just, I'm not seeing anything I can use. I just have to start growing beetroot, I guess, to get everything started with that. That's for later. We'll do that off screen when I move. I need a massive farm, apparently. All right. So I'm going to just say these spells can't do just yet. Even though they're all here. Well, I'll figure that out off screen. So, Imbuer. Imbuer sounds easy. Bronze ingots and terra moss. We can do that. We should have some bronze because I've never used it. And I made some by accident. It should be this one right here, right? We just need bronze ingots, right? Alright, so four. We got seven on us. We can make this right now. So, what am I missing? Charge stone? Thought I had that in my inventory. I did. It's just in my bag. So, bam. Get that on. Oh, why did I drop the bronze? Come on, come here. We'll put this right here. Oh, jeez, that's so small. Is that supposed to be on the floor? <laughs> Craft an imbuer and the grammary of forest. Okay. The place on the imbuer. Place on the imbuer and put spell dust and set the spell dust you want to learn inside. Okay. So I want this one. So we need bark. Oh, this is easy as well. Since we have everything already, we just need an emerald for that one. I have an emerald in here. No, but I should have an emerald in my inventory over here. Yep, okay, perfect. So this is easy to make as well. There we go. Perfect. And then I just put this in the imbuer, right? Okay, and what do I do now? Get that? Okay. Then right-click and place your gamma reinforce on the imbuer. After a few seconds, you will get a message informing you that you've learned a spell. Oh, so we just leave it there. Okay, we'll just leave it there for right now. We got some more illuminate ingots for that. Imposter. Imposer. The Imposer is used to modify the ability of spells already placed inside. The place spells inside a staff, follow the instructions on the staff quest. Okay. So each color border indicates something. Yellow not unlocked, red unlocked but not activated, green unlocked and activated, and purple unlocked but conflicts with an active modifier. Okay, so an Imposer. I need another Imbuer. We need Charge Stone. Okay. That's after a few seconds, that's a straight lie. It's been a few seconds. So we need to make another Imbuer. I'm missing a bronze. I should just take it all out, shouldn't I? Oh, oh my God! I just have so much stuff in my inventory right now. Let's take out a few more. I don't know if I'm gonna need any more like that. All right. Imbuer. Grab the imbuer. Yes. Now make the imposer. Imposer. Cool. Perfect. All right, and then we'll put this down right here. All right. Cool. We don't have a staff yet, so this is just me getting all the stuff ready. That does give me 32 bronze though, perfect. Now we need to make the staff. Staff needs a block of amethyst, a block of opal, and a block of garnet. And then a root of a fallen and an eagle bone whistle. So I guess I just get my whistle, or I just leave my whistle alone? Like, I just leave, lose it entirely? Uh, getting another one is going to be a pain in the ass. Eagle bone whistle, so. I should have it on me. It's not that hard to get. It's just that I don't want to make eagles again. We do have two eagle bones though, so we could make this. Oh, okay. We can make another one if we need to. So, staff. 
We have the Eagle Bone Whistle already. We just need everything else. Root of the Fallen, I have in here. I do have Amethyst. Let's just grab that. We need Opals now. Uh, when does an Opal look like? It's right here. Now, what else do I need? Garnet? I'm assuming those are right. Garnet, Opal, and then where's the Amethyst at? Right there. Okay, perfect. We have everything we need. Garnet. Just turn that into that. So I think I can return it back into that if I need to. Okay, perfect. Opal's the same. Thank you. And then last but not least is the garden. All right. And then I have no more inventory space. Perfect. I don't know. Oh, I went back into there. Okay, perfect. Next up is to make the staff. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Staffed. Are you going to, are you going to like, are you going to work? Did I do this wrong? I'm going to take that four diamonds. That's diamonds on diamonds. So how does this work? Okay. So I was using this wrong entirely. Let's put most of the stuff up there. Can, can you guys get in there, please? What is happening? Just get in there. Oh my god. Oh, it's because of this herb pouch. Doesn't like the one in there. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about the herb pouch. This is for uh, spell dust, I think. Okay, so this is wrong. I need a spell dust already in here. Then I need to put this in here. This is dumb. I hate this. But we need to make spell something out of this. So offense, spell dust. Oh my god. Here's all the spell dust. Rose's thorn. We can make... No, no actually, we can't make that. We don't have a uh, wild wood. What can we make? Sanctuary? Growth infusion? I can't make that. Sky sore. Can't make that either. Saturate. That's a lot of food that we don't have on us. This will be the easiest to make here. Here we go. So, nature scythe. We can make this. So just two wild root, fern, or grass, arbutine, and then a diamond knife. The only thing I don't think I have is arbutine. Am I saying that right? But we should be able to make it right. We should have arbutine. Unless that's something I have to make myself. Oh, no. We have arbutine seeds. Okay, perfect. We have the wild root already. We just need grass. Which I need shears for. Shouldn't be that bad to make shears. Shears. Am I spelling this wrong? Yes, I am. Oh my god. That's not that bad, actually. I'm exaggerating. So let's get this out. And then let's get... I don't even have wood anymore. I'm wood struggling. No, we have wood. We have wood right here. And then all the other wood is just made up of other fucking chiseled stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have wood in here already. What am I thinking of? Alright, so what am I... Oh, I heard him make it. Okay, perfect. We should go outside and get some grass now. Here we go. Let's grab all that. Thank you. And then with this one, I don't want to waste time with this. Our boutine. Oh, we'll just add the dirt bag, honestly. No point in not having it. Because we could just make our boutine because it looks like I'm going to need it. Why is that not one going? Is this a fake dirt? No, it should work. But yeah, there we go. So that's easy to make. Thank you. I'll take that out of my hands. All right, cool. Perfect. Then we'll just make it again, just to have it there. It's 21. All right, so let's get everything out of my inventory that we don't need. We need this. We need this. Our routine and then the wild root. So two wild root, one our routine, that and that. Nature scythe. Where's my pestle at? Here it is. And that makes that. Okay. Now that we have the spell dust, they come over here. Pull that out. Thank you. Put this in. Right? Put that on top. There we go. It's moving. Wow, look at it go. And then hopefully there we go. Perfect. Nature spice has been added to my library. Then I go over here. I go like this. I put my staff in here, right? And then this? No. I don't know how to use this just yet. Alright, but we got that, Nature Scythe. But let's get the Grove Stone now. Craft the Grove Stone, place it down, and to perform the Grove Supplication. Perform the Grove Supplication in a nearby pyre. The Grove Stone will also will allow nearby Fey Crafters and Runic Crafters to function. By default, the Grove Stone... Okay, we're, we need just a Charge Stone, a Buffalo Tooth, and an Eagle Bone. And then we should be able to make this. Yep, there we go, perfect. Then I just put it next to it, right? Like that. And what do I do with this? Do I hit it with the staff? What is the growth stone? What is the growth stuff location? I don't know what that means. We'll get the bones though. Get another crafting altar. Make a fake crafter. This is another central crafting mechanic in roots. It's like fake crafter. Block of amethyst. Trees. Petals. Charge stone. Easy enough to make. Fake crafter. We'll see what the growth stone supplication is in a moment. Uh, little tree. This is an X. That means it's not on. Do I have to put this on fire or something? Oh, 
Grove Stone Supplication. Oh, okay. So Moss Stone, Eagle Feather, Petals, Red Cedar Sapling. Okay. We have all of that. Because I am a smart boy. Here we go. Red Cedar Saplings. We need Wild Root, I think. Was that, would that mean Wild Root? No. It needs the uh, ones with the uh, arrows in them. So this one. Next up is Eagle Feather, Petals, and Moss Stone. Moss Stone we have. Alright, and then we need the Eagle Feathers. Which we have as well. So we have everything right now. Petals. We have Petals on us already. Okay, cool. Let us begin. So, this, this, next up is this, then it's this, then what am I missing now? We're missing, ah, oh jeez, get out my way please, the moss stone. Bam. Grow stone, grow supplication. Cook that up. Let's go, let's go baby, let's go. There we go, look at that. Now it's working. There we go, I'm still standing. Valid stone. So now it works. Now we're moving different. Thank God. A concealment key. Ooh, gives me two compacting drawers. Ooh, we're going to use those later. Uh, quantifying. We can do quantifying key. We don't need any concealments. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, before we do anything else, I think it's time to move. I'm getting tired of this area. Well, I can take that damage. Okay, so right here looks like a good spot. We'll put our house up top of there. Then all this other area can be made for other stuff. Oh, I don't like that. What is that? Bazals? Okay, that might be an issue. Okay, I wasn't thinking about that. Here's an owl. Right, we have a little water pond here. Um, I guess, but I want more flat land. Like, uh, we do have that forest right there we can get into, and then there's right here. Or we can just make something that's like inside of the mountain itself. So we're not going up and down ladders all the time. That could be a different thing as well we can do. Get out of my way, please. Move yourself. Thank you. Hmm. I'm liking this area so far. This looks like a good area. And then everything is new, newly generated as well. So, I think this should be a good spot. Alright, welcome back. We've made our new house. See, I said I was going to do it in the mountains, but that was a complete lie. I kind of messed it up after I already excavated a lot of the uh, certain stone and it made it messed up. But we're here now. We're in a water biome. We're in the ocean. And I think I'll give you like a little tour of what we have going on here. So we go out here and it's just, this is wildlife. I don't want to mess with this. That's why I didn't touch any of this except this. I had to get some new worms. But as we come through, we got the entrance. We had our forgery over here and then we have our farming plots over there. And then all of that is up blocks up there. So if we go here, I can expand this if I want to. But here, this is what it looks like. So it's a nine by nine. Uh, it's a three by three plot for every one of these and it has everything that I might need at the moment. And if I need more, I can expand out if need be. And then storages for every uh, nature thing that I have here. I decided to go off storage, storage drawers instead of just having um, the uh, storage crate because it's easier to look through and find stuff if I need it. Same thing over here. If I come over here, it's the same design as when I was in the basement, but it's outside now. So everything is more accessible. I just have to run over there. So we have our random stuff in here, which I don't know where to put that. We have a big king crab in front of us. But as you can see, all of our ores and materials that are nature uh, ground related are here. Then we have our forge, bigger than ever. You know, 3,000 ingots at once if it need be. We have all of our things over here. And then this is all the stuff for the smeltery. Then we have our engineer's workbench over here. Our coke oven and then our crude blast furnace over here. Then we have our XP tank and then we have our lava tank that this is laying on. It's just easier to access. And since we have access to it at any point over here, it's just easier to grab through and it's perfect for us. Then over here with all our blocks. Um, not all of our blocks. I want to wait till I have a storage controller so that I can hook up everything correctly and just stuff it in there. But um, this is all our blocks over here and some of our crafted things as well. But that's pretty much what we have so far going on. I've made some garlic bread so we don't have to keep killing buffaloes. Since we did murder all of our buffaloes, unfortunately, just to get here. Um, and then our map, if we check it, we are far away. So we started over here. And you see this crater right here? That's where um, our base used to be. Because I know that they're in and everything around it is just the area that is affected. So I removed everything from there. Unfortunately, mini me got stuck there. It's okay, though. And over here is seven blocks away, I think. 700 blocks away. We have our new house. And then we have our 
claim chunks over here as well. So we just want to claim all of these chunks just to have them claimed up. So we're just going to go like this and claim all of those chunks. We don't want to use all of our chunks because we still need a few left for certain activities that we might have to do. And I don't want to have to wait for those. So we have this ready here. Realistically, all I need is this thing here and then this over here chunk claimed. But hey, whatever. We could also remove chunks if we need to. But that's fine for right now. We'll deal with that in a bit. So yeah. Um, Is there anything else? We still have to go through everything over here. But I think we can do this in the next episode. Obviously, these are not going to get done anytime soon, unfortunately. We can get other things, like we need elemental dirt. So we can start getting that. Or elemental soil. Yeah, same thing. We need uh, uh, rune stone, which is going to be good because we can start getting into other mods with that. We need pouches, apparently. Pouch poacher? All right. This is a water holder. Endeavor. Ender fire. Okay. Craft four blocks of ender wires in your fake crafter. And place in two by two multi block shaded access infinite water source. Okay. That might be really good. Maybe we can get an infinite lava source because then it would be even perfecter. We have magnet magenta beauty. So these are just things I have to make with the Dugonia. And then sure footed stone. And then heavenly flowers is cloudberries over here. And then our immerse yourselves. We still have all of this to go through. But that gun is going to be really cool to make. We have better storage over here. Unfortunately, it's not the compact ones because I think we need to do RF. Not RF. This one right here, level 9. This is when we get our compact storage. Which kind of sucks because it's so far away. But once we get into this, we're going to have some fun as well. But that's it for this episode. Yeah, yeah, we get a lot. Of, we got a lot of stuff done, and I'm proud of it as well. This is our gonna new our new base. It's gonna help me do be more productive as well. But hey, that's gonna be pretty good. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.